Hello and welcome my girly gumdrops, how you doing today? We've got Silver Oak Forest Heroic Challenge today. Sometimes I talk uh, too fast for my own good and I can't even can't even keep up with uh, the words. But today what we're going to do is we want to get a barracks, we want to get one of these guys, and uh, all four of them, baby. It's, I know it's expensive, man. I, I totally agree with you guys, but it's going to be worth it. We're also going to go for a double barracks here, and believe it or not, we are going to go for an artillery today. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ranger's hat out as quickly as I possibly can. But realistically, what we want to do is we're trying to line up as many people as we possibly can uh, in range of these guys, because their bows are freaking ridiculous. So we've got giant spiders coming out on the right, and we've got brigands coming out on the left. Okay, so basically magic on the left, and something to kill all the spiders on the right. It's it's pretty standard, but knowing exactly what to build, when and how and where and what round, that could be a little bit more difficult for us. So, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to line these guys all up, uh, actually basically on top of each other. You want to put them right at the very edge of where the where the artillery can actually reach. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rain of fire, reinforce, next wave. That's what we got to do right here, man. So look at these guys. I mean, they're, they're tanky. If they if they get through your guys, there's nothing you can do. So I'm going to do another one of these guys. We're going to pop these guys here, these guys here, and uh, we want to just keep a, a nice little barrier between them and uh, their crossbows. So yeah, let, let their crossbows go to town. Who cares about these guys? They, they get infinitely reproduced. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna kill thousands of men. It doesn't matter. But also, we're gonna get some magic up in here. So we're thinking about a pretty high. Oh, I really want to hit the Ranger's Tower, though. Let's do this first. I just love the Ranger side out, man. I don't know what it is about those archers, but it just makes me feel so good to have them. Like, oh, nothing can sneak through that right there. Nothing in the world. All right, so our random fire is just about back, but hopefully, I won't need it. Again, we're relying on our archers over here to take these guys down. It seems like the two, the triple barracks, is working out pretty well, actually. Uh, we can even use our extra, extra reinforcements over here, and Marauders and Brigands, and more Giant Spiders. Of course the Giant Spiders are coming out right now, man. Of course. Alright, they're getting up to our guys, but at this point, uh, they're so little... Yeah, because the problem is, if you guys don't know, is this, if one of these guys die, you can rebuy them for 100 gold, but you literally just wasted 100 gold. So every time one of these guys dies, it's very, very upsetting. You, you don't like it to happen. So we try and make it happen uh, very ill often. So we're going to go for another Archer Tower over here, actually. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking a pretty beefy one. I'm, I'm thinking if I can go all the way up to another Ranger Saddle, I'd love it. Because I think it can reach all the way across, like, this entire area right here. Now, if you notice, this other uh, barracks may seem like it was worthless. Like, why would you put it over there, Chris? But you notice, all these guys that are getting stuck right here, right next to where all of my uh, my elven warriors are attacking is perfect. So we've got a Rain of Fire. Let's go into the next wave right here. So I think we got Spider Matriarchs coming out this time around. Those guys are a freaking pain. So the best way to do it, honestly, is to get a little bit of artillery, get a lot of stunning power, use all of your uh, reinforcements as soon as you get them, and just hope that it's enough. We hope for the best. That's that's all you can do, man. Um, you gotta bundle them up. You know the the problem is all the spiders are gonna run in front of the spider matrix, and you don't often kill them. So I believe they can also lay eggs uh, even while you're attacking them. I think so. So, uh, putting people on top of them doesn't automatically make them, like, stop doing their thing. So, more giant spiders, more brigands, but I think we're honestly okay. I think at this point, look at this. Look at this ranger's tower. Look at him go. Yeah. But I need more magic. That's what I need. So, we're gonna upgrade our wizard towers next. Um, got a rain of fire here, but I don't really want to use it. So we're going to go boom, boom, set up more reinforcements, and we're going to upgrade our magic tower. So I already have third tier magic tower upgrade unlocked, and what it does is it makes all the mage towers cheaper. It's honestly really, really nice. Not going to lie to you guys. I love having this upgrade, especially with the heroic and iron challenges. I would love to have it during the regular game, but I feel like the uh, the other people are just slightly more important, sadly. Just slightly. Not not a ton, but it's enough. So we're going to use the rain of fire actually pretty early over here. Take down quite a bit of these guys, and we're going to get this up... <clears throat> this Mage Tower upgraded again. Uh, I'm not really focusing too much on these guys. As you can tell, we are taking them down. The thing is, i got to keep my Elven Warriors alive. That's 400 gold right there. I do not want to waste it. So I'm spending money to save money. <clears throat> Alright, what are we coming out for the final wave here? we got some Matriarchs, Marauders, and Marauders. Now that's chump change, man. <sighs> we can take it all down, no problem. Let's go like this. We need another barracks, believe it or not. A lot of stunning power today. Uh, looks like my elven warriors are struggling. Look at a little bit. Will they die? I think one of them might have died. Two of them died. I can't 
can't tell. Oh, crap. Alright, so two of them died right there. That's a little bit upsetting. But there's only two of these guys coming out, so we can just line up four of these guys on top of each other. Uh, or at least as many as we can. Oh, is there six of them coming out? What the heck's coming out? I don't even know anymore. But, uh... Alright. Let's get, I guess we'll just go for the artillery over here. Grid it up just a tiny little bit so the spider matrix can There's only four spider matrix coming out anyways. But here we go. This is where the mega damage is going to come out. It doesn't matter. We're going to take them all down. I don't even need a barracks back here, but we're going to get it anyways. Just for safety purposes, man. Just in case they get far up in here. And it looks like the last few marauders. I mean, if you look at the damage on these guys. Even with the medium armor, it doesn't matter. We just chop right through that. The arrows just boom, boom, boom. Annihilate these guys. The last guy over here, last marauder, I don't think he's ever going to escape the uh, the entourage of all of my people attacking him all at once. Alright, heroic challenge, taken down. Now, let's move on to the iron challenge. So the difficult part about this one is you never get like a fast rain of fire. Like If you use it once, um, you don't know if you're going to be able to get it again for until the end of the game. So it's a, it's a little, little bit sad, I'll be honest. But, um... Alright... But, at the same time, that's the point. It's a challenge. Ooh, this is real interesting. Honestly, whenever I see the extra things like this, I almost always, almost always get them. And I say almost always, because not for sure. But only Marauders and Bandits. I don't know, man. Maybe I won't get it. I mean, if those guys die, I basically get nothing. Alright, let's try it like this. One, two, three, four. We're going to put these guys over here. And let them shoot these guys. Because the problem is, is we get no barracks. We got no stunning power at all. So I don't even want to use any artillery. I want to use all archers over here. Archer, 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 archer. We're going to upgrade those guys as time goes on. But also need magic over here. So we're going to go magic, magic. And hope that I could just kind of brutalize these guys as they walk in. And the arrows will slowly kill them as time goes on. So let's try it out and see how it goes. It's my first instinct. Um, I know that these guys are strong, so I, I don't even know if I want to just do like an early rain of fire on them, stun them for as long as I can with my reinforcements, and just rain of fire a big group of them. Just get some extra gold right from the get-go. Why did they not stop that guy? What does, what's up with that? It's kind of lame. But we are, we're going to do we're going to do a rain of fire pretty early over here. Um, these guys, they're doing a good job, but it's honestly, it's just not perfect, man. I can't believe this guy's getting so far, though. That is really sad. So I've got all my archers attacking him, but my reinforcements... No! Oh, God. I thought the reinforcements were gonna, weren't going to go get him up in here. But it looks like they will. It's just going to be... I'm going to have to use my reinforcements on this guy for, like, the rest of the game. That's the sad part about it. All right. Another 200 life to go. And he's getting drained. He will die. That's the good news. But now there's some other guys right behind him getting ready to try and run right through as well. But we will not allow it. You must die. So I think what we gotta do is upgrade our magic towers. Obviously, uh, we got this covered on the right side. You know, like, almost no problems at all. But on the left side, we just we can't handle them. So we got two third-tier mage towers already. I'm gonna go for an extra one right here. Why not, baby? Why not? Now, I will, I will admit that I really have not used my... Um, my archer towers very much over here at all. I'm a little bit surprised. I feel like I, I should... I've been focusing over here too much. I know that I spent 500 gold just getting these guys. But I, I think that I should upgrade them at least a little bit more. I know the Ranger Tower is solid and everything, but I just... I can't go without him. I can't just give up on these guys. Alright, so we got a Rain of Fire back again. So once we see some more Marauders coming out, that's how we're going to take them down. We're going to use the Rain of Fire on them. Other than that, I don't really think we need to do much. Just slowly upgrade stuff. Yes, yeah, son. Luckily, no Spider Matrix coming out yet that I remember. Or that I've seen, luckily. Um, it's sad too, cause I, like I kind of want to like sell this thing, but it's worth zero dollars. So there's really no point to actually sell it. You know what? That's a big bundle of guys right there. We gotta do the rate of fire on them. And in the meantime, with all of our extra delicious gold, we get some more magic going. All right, so these guys—it's nice because you know what? The, the oh, there they are. This has got to be the the final battle, basically. The four marauders coming out. Um. Kind of sad that my reinforcements just <laughs> did nothing <laughs> right there. So we can move these guys up just a little bit. Let them actually attack uh, at least a little bit. We'll move them uh, up here now. I don't know if they can reach across the gap right there, but hopefully they can. Uh... 
There we go. Alright, so there's the spider matriarch, baby. Woo! Alright! Scary! This is scary stuff right here. Actually, we're gonna get a rain of fire back again, I think, before the game's over. It's actually pretty intense. <clears throat> the problem with the arrows, by the way, if you didn't know, is they do miss the spiders a lot. But you need to go for arrows because these guys have magic resistance. So, uh, we did end up taking down the Marauder. The last little spider matriarch is about to get taken down, and the iron challenge is no more. We got the rain of fire at the perfect time, too. <laughs> rain of fire! Did I say the perfect time? I meant the worst time. Basically, if we if we really needed it, that would have been perfect. But luckily, we didn't really need it. So we completed the heroic and iron challenge for Silver Oak Forest today for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you press that like button for me. Now we've got three stars across the board right now. It's kind of exciting, I know. Still need a lot more stars to go though. And what I'm gonna do is I kind of want to do all the heroic and iron challenges before I start playing all these other maps. But I'll see I'll see how it goes. I don't know. Maybe I'll pop in just one of these guys and just kind of have fun with it. But I do know that these are difficult maps. And that's the one thing that kind of scares me a little bit. If I don't have all the upgrades, I might not be able to beat them uh, without a lot of issues or losing lives or something like that. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me. I'd appreciate that a bunch. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.